down, knuckle down, or do you? Is that is there a risk of overworking? Can you over prepare? Did you, did you give them a bit of freedom in that day off after a heavy group stage? I think for the most part we'll go over the glaring errors. If there are any common errors that kept popping up, uh, we talked about it before. We once had this idea like there's not a whole lot that you can change in one day. If you have so many different problems, you're never going to be able to fix something in one day. Either you're prepared or you're not. But there are some stuff that you can go over in the replays. For example. Uh, one of our problems going into the TI calls is that we weren't very good at Roshan, and so we kind of narrowed it down to fixing that rather than addressing 15 different problems. Because if you only have one day, what can you really accomplish in that one day? Either they understand the concept, five people understand the concept, or they don't. So using that time as efficiently as possible, going over some of the larger scope mistakes, making sure that those are short up, and hoping you buy yourself a little bit more time going through the event so that you can start to correct things over time is probably the better bet. I think that's especially important in a TI like this where there are so many teams that are all a very similar caliber. You know, you look at both uh, sides of the upper bracket and even some of the teams that aren't in the upper bracket. You see OG not in the, the top four on each side. You look at all those teams and those are teams that you need to prep for, teams that you need to have a good idea of how to play against. So I think, you know, like Blitz said, focusing on yourself, fixing any glaring issues is probably the best bet because there are so many solid teams that you ha are going to have to play against. Absolutely. So it's a, it's a kind of a balance that has to be struck. And I like the idea, the mindset of you can't fix everything in a day. Just, that's a reality. You, you can't. I mean, yeah. it'll be, it, it's kind of an overload of information. Sure. And sometimes when you try to do too much, you end up doing nothing. You just shoot yourself in the foot. And so better just, you know, you see, like I said, you see something, you, you, you look at the main thing, right? And then you, you try to fix that. And then as the days go by, if you do well in that first game, yeah. then you might buy yourself some more time. And then maybe you can end up, oh, hmm, maybe we can do this. Or maybe you had a good game and you feel better and you're like, all right, you know. And then you kind of start working on those problems as you go by. That's what we've seen EG do in many tournaments. You see them usually in the beginning of a tournament. They don't do so well. And then they're like, okay, guys, what is it? What is going wrong? They start, they fix something, and then they kind of get the ball rolling, and then they do really well. Fantastic. Well, I don't want us to be blabbing on for too long. I think we've talked about Dota for four days, 6 a.m. till, till 8 a.m. Um, 8 p.m., I should just correct myself. Uh, otherwise, we'd have the, the labor laws after us. Uh, it has been an absolute blast, and we are still working on getting those brackets for you. But why don't we have a little bit of fun to end our group stage? Because this has been so much fun. Um, it's been a pleasure sharing the panel with you. Now, I don't know where I put them, so I had a little idea. I want to play a game called Over or Under. And the idea is I'm going to throw something at you. It's, you know, maybe it's going to be Dota, maybe it's not. And when you guys are all going to turn your cards at the same time and tell me if it's under or overrated. Sound good? Sounds yeah. good. I'm, you know, all these people on Reddit that say this guy's such a game show host, I hate him. I'm really, I'm really just giving it exactly what they want. There you go. Cards. Cards. Oh, oh okay. okay, sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can get it. Okay, cool. So we would, let's do a practice one, first of all. Um, okay, machine as a host. You see, now you're doing it right. Now you're doing it right. You've got it. You got it in one. Um, I didn't quite catch what I'm being told, so I guess I'll just keep throwing questions at you. Um, this is another one. Uh, of course, this is very serious stuff. Can you turn the cards around? I want to, you know, like an element of surprise for everyone. Hmm. How about Cucumber? Yeah, I know. Oh, look at his face, they're really working. Overrated. Cucumber is overrated. Who rates Cucumber, Quinn? I, I don't know, but anyone who likes it overrates it. Wait, you don't like Cucumber at all? Uh, this is serious. Dude, you know it's like 90% water. Is it 90% water? It's not ridiculous. It's 95% water. 95% water. 95% water. So if you just laid down loads of cucumbers and walked on them, would you be 95% Jesus Christ? I don't know if it works like that. <laughs> no? It's a great hydrator, though. I, dude, I told you I'm really good at maths. Um, okay, let's do let's, let's throw a Dota one at you. You ready? Because I've got such expansive Dota knowledge. You ready? So <laughs> ready for this? Let's go. Cool. Here it comes. Monkey King. Pre-nerf. Pre-nerf. Pre -nerf. Well, oh, oh. I don't even know. How do you... <laughs> I'm joking. How do you even... Better? Okay, current, like, current, current Monkey King that we saw Baboka bouncing on the tree. Interesting. Okay, we'll start with you, Will. Why on earth is the current Monkey King? Yeah, current That's what we're talking about, right? Overrated. Yeah. Man, I've seen it played so many times as a carry. I've been so underwhelmed. Like, I think this hero, it's just, there are better heroes out there. It dies really quickly. It has no escape mechanism. 
I just saw lose a game right now that could have kicked VP into a best of one with OG. I, I, I'm surprised that they went with underrated. Dude, Quinn, jump in. I, I think it can be like sort of a replacement Ursa against some like melee heroes in lane. You leave the Monkey King alone and you go do stuff around the map. Yeah, but Ursa has a cool ulti. But the and thing is, Monkey King has, Dude, has... how does Monkey King not have one of the cool ulti? Yeah. That, that thing is it lags your Plus, game. It he, can turn, <laughs> he can turn into a banana. He can turn into a lot of things. He can snipe curse. And the thing is, he can be played in many positions. He's played as a mid, he's a carry. I don't know, he's some support. Yeah, Ursa's not ambiguous. Oh, he was so great in that last game. You guys are completely right. Completely changed my mind. One game. Are you using one game one as an game. example? What's for what, where's the Haas when I need him? Stats me up. Yeah, it, you just looked at the screen as if Nas is going to go, absolutely well, and just appear from behind you. Monet beat Cloud9 with it. There you go. A lot of people beat Cloud9 with a lot of things. Like, I, that's not strengthening your argument. They're still here. Still here, still swinging. That's what they're going to do with their day off. They're going to watch some sweet, sweet animes. Um, Pykin, I've got another one for all of us. You didn't get to defend your argument, though. Do you got anything to add to the... Uh... No, I mean, my argument is just... He can, do, he can do many things, plus he looks really cool. And he's not used that often. You know, yeah, he's not often. used that often. Right now. I feel like we saw him a couple times in this tournament. In, and that's the thing. We saw him in a lot of different positions. That's why I think he's, he's not great. So this is an interesting one, just because we're on heroes. Uh, one more hero for you. Now, what do we make of Bat Rider? Because we've, we've talked about him an awful lot throughout this, uh, throughout this four day event. Past, present, and all of you. Oh, Quinn first to commit. That's three. Okay, overrated across the board. He has been very, very popular. LFY used him to get 30 to zero, and yet you consider him overrated. Let's start with you. Quinn, I'll start with you. Bat Rider, why, why do you consider him? Because I think when a hero is first phase, like practically every single game, you can't really say he's underrated because you can't prioritize him any higher. So he would have to be a tad underrated. Or overrated. Sorry. Logic. Logic stands. Uh, Will, want to answer this argument? No, I completely agree. Plus, we're seeing more and more teams. I think when it first came out and it was so popular, a little a bit of teams were caught off guard. And at that point, it was underrated. But now teams are just picking it without any regard. They're just it's it's like a zero. Yeah. And I think in that regard, it's overrated. Overrated. Do you know what else is uh, underrated? The brackets. Oh, drum roll, please, Wait. ladies and gentlemen. They got to choose their teams, right? Explain it well before we show them. Let's say, oh, here they oh. come. Bracket overview for TI7. This is it. This could be the determining Ooh. factor on your TI7 champion. It's now on your screens. Take it all in. Liquid will be playing versus IG. Newbie will meet the evil geniuses in the upper bracket. LFY will meet TNC. You get LGD versus Virtus Pro. And now the brutal. The Cups wrote games of Dota, a best of one, the loser of which will be forced to watch from the stands as the rest of the tournament transpires. We have Secret taking on Execration. Cloud9 versus Empire. OG will be meeting Infamous and IGV versus DC. Okay, my first question is, if TNC lose to LFY and OG win, how soon can OG play against TNC? Do the brackets oh. correspond? Because if they do, right? The, the lower your, part ends up in the bottom this. there. Right? I think if TNC loses and OG wins, they would play the next game, right? Oh. It looks like that. Are you kidding? Especially when we just dropped that knowledge bomb about flying no tail. And last TI. Is that we haven't got confirmation on that, but that could be unbelievable. I'd imagine that's how it works, right? Yeah, that's safe to I say. I mean, that's safe to assume. So you're telling me that Fly and No Tail have have not won a single best of three in TI history. OG have won four out of five Valve majors. They can't seem to kill over TI. Last TI they met TNC and were eliminated. Didn't get the chance to proceed and get that TI victory they hunger for. And now. Should they want to do it now, they have to break two records at one. Two monkeys on their back and one. Yes. And maybe, will there be a Monkey King in the series? Well, he's underrated. It's fun, I enjoyed that. Well, if everything goes to uh, crap, I can just uh, start doing game shows from my living room. I'm up You'd be great. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Um, anything else that stands out then, Will, as you do kind of breathe it all in? I can see you frowning. You look very, very pained. It's... Come on, this think out loud with us. Such a rough TI. Like, that's gonna. In all, like. So, newbie EG 
is a first round matchup. That's absolutely bonkers to me. On top of that, if things go as planned, which should, then you in all likelihood have Liquid EG in the round right after that. Two of the tournament favorites, one of them's gonna be sent to the lower bracket off. Like, but I look at the rest of the field, so I imagine that Liquid chose IG. Yeah. But, and I was thinking to myself, why would you ever choose IG? And then you look at the rest of who they had as an option, and it's not like it was any easier. Same with LFY taking TNC. There's no real... <laughs> what did you really win? Your prize is an incredibly hard opponent, but I guess this is TI. Yeah, that's the upper bracket. I mean, look at the upper bracket. I mean, there is... There isn't really, there isn't a lesser of the evil. Really, is it? I mean, this is you've been saying this since day one, really, Grand Avenue. Are you surprised? It's 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 brutal. You know, I think if you look at the brackets, I think this is a very accurate representation of like of, of the teams. I think this is how a lot of people expected the teams to go down, minus OG maybe uh, being in the lower bracket. I think you look at these teams, and I think they are seated correctly. But like Blitz said, you look at them, and it's just it's such a hard. It's upset. It's. Incredible. And in terms of those dark horses in that lower bracket, the group stage is done. Everything that happened now, your, your slate is wiped clean. You just have to work from the position you've been given. Also, we do have three former TI champions in the lower bracket and three in the upper bracket. Just dropping these knowledge comments. Yeah, no, they're keeping coming. Yeah. So, how many, hang on, how many people could go for that second TI win? Six people. Six. We got from Secret, we have Puffy. Cloud9, there is AUI. Yeah. From OG, there's S4. And in the upper bracket, we have actually in that first series between EG and Nubi, there's three of them. And there's there's Faith, there's Sumail, and Universe. Damn. There is so much to look forward to coming into that main event. Um, I think you've kind of said it all, guys. I don't think we should uh, keep the lovely people at home waiting too much longer. They are just going to go ahead and try and work out what to do with the day off. So they're not going to have any Dota. What do you do when you haven't got Dota? Play Dota. Oh, play Dota. There it is. Okay. Back to Don't panic. You can play Dota tomorrow because uh, there will not be any TI. In fact, everything is going to be set up because this arena is taking shape, guys. You've been walking through it. You've seen the development. It's it's sexy, right? It well, is pretty sick. It's gorgeous. Yeah. We're underwater this year. Oh, there it is. There. Can we get a shot of that, please? Because this has been a wild ride. CCNC, Reddit heartthrob, an all-round nice guy, and you truly are. It's been an absolute pleasure, Quinn. H how has your first your, your first panel been uh, hanging out with us guys? It's been a blast. It's really cool to be here. The environment is amazing. Like you said, seeing, getting to see like everything get developed, right. and you know as everything comes together, it's a it's a very very cool environment, and it builds a lot of hype for what an amazing tournament is going to be. And you also just kind of realize how many people are involved in something like this. Like like <laughs> it's not just the five people that walk out and play the Dota. No man, it's, there's a lot of people. I want to give a, you know, we have a lot of the crew yeah. here. Thanks to you guys, you've been great. You are, uh, yeah, everyone who's helped us here. Yeah, we wouldn't, yeah, we don't look this pretty in the mornings. No, we don't. No, we don't. Much love to everybody that has made this possible. Blitz, of course, for last minute making his uh, his flight over here and joining us. Otherwise, we would have, uh, we would have been out your, um, your beautiful stories. We've learned a lot. Yeah. Wouldn't have missed this for the world. It honestly just gets better. Every single TI, first one I ever went to as a spectator, dreamed about working at something like this. So it's been yeah. an absolute pleasure to be here. And now you have, of course, the luxury of, of getting to be at another TI. Yeah, just hang out. What's your plan? What's your hang plan out. of action? Find a nice comfy seat, get some snacks. And I always watch it in the uh, the spectator seats. I just get a hoodie on and I just watch it. Dude, it is, I, I always have the same mindset. Like you can't yeah. just sit there and watch the TV. If, it, if it's there, it's a couple of meters away, you'd be an idiot not to. Yeah, of course. Sort of manage of it. So I guess that's it from all of us. You'll be seeing myself and the other guys around, either if you're coming to the key arena or maybe even online somewhere as well. For now, though, I think we say goodbye. It has been my honor and pleasure to be a part here of TI7 Group Stages. And on Monday, we will see you as the main event kicks off and we'll get closer to finding a champion.
Thank you. 